Good afternoon everyone, I'm Karine Samuels. Welcome back to my channel, Toishma's Hut. Today I am bringing you another Black History Moment and I'm going to be talking about Taki. Now you might be wondering, who is this Taki person? Why is it important to be talking about him? So let's go. So Taki was a chief in his native Ghana. That's where he was from, the country of Ghana on the continent of Africa. And he led the most significant slave revolt in Jamaica's history, which started in 1760 and ended in 1761. It is said to have lasted well over 18 months. And this rebellion started on April 7th, 1760, in the parish of St. Mary. Now, why was this revolt important? Why was this rebellion so important? Here we go. So this war was one of the most significant slave rebellions in the Caribbean during the 18th century before the Haitian Revolution, which began three decades later. The speed of the initial assault enabled the rebels to overpower the British forces at Fort Haldane at Port Maria, where they obtained arms and ammunition. They moved on to overrun the plantations at Haywoods Hall and Escher. By dawn, the following morning, hundreds strong, they had fought their way inland, capturing estates and killing European settlers where they found them. Taki's campaign spurred on uprisings on estates in the parishes of Westmoreland, St. Thomas, Clarendon, and other estates in the Caribbean. Now, according to Professor Vincent Brown, Taki's war was a combination of four conflicts at once. It was an extension of wars on the African continent. It was a race war between black and white people. It was a political and territorial struggle among black people. And it was the most hard fought battle in seven years. So although Taki died and many other enslaved bodies um, succ succumbed to their injuries, this, this rebellion was actually very significant because it spurred other re re rebellions in Jamaica and across the Caribbean. And it actually gave enslaved people the idea, it empowered them to, to understand that they were still autonomous beings, and they deserved to be treated as human beings. And this led them to take up arms, knowing fully well that sometimes their weaponry was way less powerful, but they did it anyways because they felt like, well, if Taki could do it, and his rebellion lasted that long. And remember, context is important because during that time, they didn't have cell phones. They didn't have networks like CNN and B BBC informing them of where to go and what was happening across the islands. No, they did this on foot for the most part and using sometimes inferior weaponry, which triggered the first the amelioration of slavery and eventually the abolition of slavery so that's why taki's rebellion was so important to not only the enslaved bodies on the island of jamaica but other enslaved bodies across the caribbean thank you for watching